it's late summer, early fall, and you go out to groom your horses one day and find tiny little yellow dots on their legs, and you're wondering what they are. Well, today we'll be talking about bot fly eggs and how to remove them. Here you can see the outside of Prince's right knee, and you can see these tiny little yellow flakes that are really hard to get off with your finger. These are bot fly eggs. So bot flies are also sometimes called warble flies, gad flies, or heel flies because of where they typically lay their eggs. The life cycle of a bot fly is that the adult bot fly female will lay her eggs on the front legs or chest of a horse. The horse will scratch um, the uncomfortable eggs with his mouth, transferring them into his mouth and then into his um, digestive system. There, the heat of the inside of the horse will actually cause them to um, hatch into larva which will then embed it themselves in the stomach lining or the lining of the small intestine to then kind of sit and incubate for 10 to 12 months. As you can imagine, being embedded in the intestinal wall, this can cause a lot of irritation. Um, after being inside for 10 to 12 months, um, they will detach, which can also cause a lot of pain, and move their way through the rest of the intestinal system and come out in the manure. There, um, I think one to two months after they pass in the manure, the adult bot fly emerges and then the cycle starts all over again. I'll have another video on um, parasite management in, in general and how to kind of interrupt that life cycle. But for the bot flies specifically, the best thing that we can do is remove the bot flies as we, the bot fly eggs that we find on their legs. Now if you're concerned that your horse may already have a bot fly infestation, I highly recommend working with your vet. They can do a fecal sample and check for the level of infestation. There will always be some level, but a small enough infestation, your horse won't really be affected by it. Um, but you won't know what level of infestation you have until you do a fecal. I also recommend working with your vet based on the results of that fecal. Instead of just rushing out and grabbing the nearest um, dewormer that will treat bot flies, if you do have a severe infestation and you treat it with a dewormer, um, all of the larvae can detach themselves from the intestinal wall at the same time, which can cause internal bleeding and a much um, more painful situation than if you were to do it gradually, but you won't know until your vet does the fecal. So highly recommend reaching out with your vet, working with your vet on a worming program um, based on the results of fecals. Because you could have other worm infestations that you wanna be able to treat at the same time or not, depending on what level you have. So for answers to more questions like this, I'll leave a link below to my Facebook group where you can have instant access to me and other trainers and other um, equestrians who are always happy to help answer questions and provide feedback. And if you thought this was useful and you want more basic horsemanship videos, make sure to subscribe and like below and let me know what you'd like to learn about. Thanks. Bye. So it's late. <laughs> Can you not? <laughs>